Hello everybody. Welcome to part 5 of SAP Build Process Automation Tech Byte series. In part 3 and 4, we have explored the form, API and event triggers to start a business process. I will be linking them in the right top corner. You could check them out. In this episode, we shall see how to use scheduled triggers to start a process. The purpose of scheduled triggers is to start a process which is periodic in nature. Hourly, daily, weekly, monthly repetitive processes can be scheduled. This feature is useful when we want to run the process automatically without manual intervention thus improving efficiency and reducing manual effort. Let us get into the system to see the step-by-step -step creation, configuration and monitoring of scheduled triggers with the help of sales order creation use case. In the first part of the TechBite series, we had created a project called Sales Order Management Project. In order to explore the scheduled triggers, I will be copying this project versions click on the three dots save as new project I rename it as scheduled triggers we'll give the same as description save as new the project is getting created open the project open the process this is the original process we have used sales order details form as the trigger we will be now deleting it and creating scheduled trigger as the trigger remove save the process click on add a trigger choose scheduled trigger I will name it as demo sales order scheduled trigger the identifier is pre-filled click on create scheduled trigger got created I need some additional fields as process inputs Click anywhere on the process editor, open the site panel, under variables, process inputs, click on configure, add needed fields. I need material field, string type, quantity, make it number one more field unit it is a string field apply i have added three new fields save it the process inputs will be synced with the trigger outputs click on trigger outputs all the all the three fields added we can now see here the scheduled trigger outputs are automatically synchronized from the process inputs I need some more changes like for the approval form under recipient users in the past we have used process started by this process started by works only for the form trigger for other types of triggers we need to use the email id using which we have created the btp account the both the global account and sub account we need to use that email id here in order to get notified in the my inbox app i'll provide my email id also, I need to modify the input. It's 
in order to add the additional fields here I'll be adding the material quantity unit this is the material quantity unit unit of measure so we'll make it as read only this is the approval form for the sales manager save it once we add the fields to the sales order approval form they have to be mapped with the process inputs so for the sales order form inputs we have these new fields added so we also need to do the mapping here material quantity unit save it switch to the process editor i will be changing the recipient for confirmed as well as rejected form because this process started by doesn't work for scheduled triggers i'll provide the email id with which we have created the btp account save do the same for the rejected form remove the process started by and provide the email save okay we are done with the process modeling in the process editor we have created the scheduled trigger in order to activate and configure it we need to release and deploy this project click on release release it is released click on deploy choose the public environment click on deploy demo sales order scheduled trigger will be created this is ok click on deploy the project got successfully deployed and it's active in order to activate the scheduled trigger and configure it we need to go to the control tower go to the build lobby click on control tower under tenant configuration open the environment style choose the public environment this is the project we we deployed just now switch to the triggers tab yeah this is the trigger we just created demo sales order scheduled trigger scroll to the right under actions we have three dots it is more options click on this choose activate a dialog to schedule the trigger opens up here we have the name of the trigger we can provide the description this is the process which is going to get executed sales order handling process here we have two tabs one is the schedule tab another is the input parameter under schedule we provide the date time under input parameter we provide the data in order to start the process first we shall see what options we have under schedule we have the date range we can choose from which date to which date the process should run we have the time zone we can choose various time zones recurrence is the frequency for example if the recurrence is five minutes every five minutes the process get executed if we set hours every five hour once the process get executed if we choose days every five days once the process get executed like 
this we have uh, weeks option and months option important thing to notice when we choose the minute the recurrence maximum value is 59 minutes likewise for hours it is recurrence maximum value is 24 hours for days since we have seven days in a week the maximum value is seven weeks it is 35 weeks is the maximum value and when it comes to months it is 12 months is the maximum value when we choose month we also get the option to set the start time and also the day number on which day of the month we want to start the process i will choose a use case here where three personas comes into picture one is the customer who has some requirement another is a sales representative who will communicate with the customer and gather the requirement third is, third is the sales manager who will review and approve the sales order process the customer requirement is customer needs one kg of coffee beans every month to be delivered to his or her home address what the customer does they call the sales representative of the coffee company and uh, place the order now the customer representative will come to the picture he or she will design the scheduled trigger we choose the date range april 23rd 2025 to april 23rd 2026 so a customer would like to subscribe the coffee beans for one year every month monthly subscription we go to we choose the year as next year and the day as 23rd april this is the date range during which the sales order handling process get executed time zone i will be choosing the ist time zone and recurrence i want the process to get executed once a month start time i choose 8 am and day number is first day of every month date ranges 23rd april 2025 to 23rd april 2026 one year and time zone is ist time zone recurrence is once every month start time is 8 am and the day number is the first day of the month so this is the schedule for ordering one kg of coffee beans now let us go to the input parameter tab and customer i will provide i my name the customer name and order id i will just pick a simple one two three four five six order id order amount is one kg coffee bean like roughly it is five thousand rupees i'm providing expected delivery date i choose my next order to be first may and the material is coffee beans quantity is one kg one and i'll provide units as kgs and click on activate the trigger successfully updated so once the trigger is updated under actions now we have options to disable the trigger if you want to test we can run it immediately by clicking on run now or if you want to do some changes we can also edit the trigger configuration once it is running we can open and monitor to examine for testing purpose i will click on run now execution successfully requested the process instance will be created now let's open and monitor 
the instance got created sales order handling process we see the schedule trigger has triggered this process and this is the project sales order management project scheduled trigger and uh, a sales order one two three four five six is waiting for your approval now the sales manager will receive this sales order in his or her inbox we'll go to the inbox okay this is the sales order and uh, the data has been taken successfully as a manager i will review the data and see if the order can be fulfilled yes this order can be fulfilled i'll provide a message this looks good and approve switching to the process refresh the sales order one two three four five six has been confirmed this is the message i receive as a sales representative the order got confirmed and uh, i can prepare for shipping for that go to the inbox again now as a sales representative since i am playing all the three roles as customer sales representative as well as sales manager i have provided my email id in order to receive the notifications so sales order has been confirmed this i will be seeing as a sales representative so submit it coming to the process it is confirmed and the instance completed successfully so now the process execution is complete i hope you have found this episode helpful thank you for watching